Hi, Tamal. So let us pick up our discussion from uh, last week where we were talking about the supervisory role of RBI and how it has become very proactive uh, in its approach. Why uh, has RBI become so uh, aggressive? Yeah, that's right. Aggressive is probably the right adjective. I think, you know, if you see in the recent past, our experience, like take the case of uh, Yes Bank, and uh, the perception is this, we have a regulator which is too slow to react. And as far as Reserve Bank of India is concerned, it's defense, it's, it all depends on, I mean, it's, it has to be very careful about the financial sector stability, so it can't do things in a hurry. Um, uh, so I think Reserve Bank of India now does not want any kind of surprise, negative surprise anymore. Uh, which is why, the, to use a cliche, uh, nipping in the bud, that's, that's, uh, that's its approach. Um, theoretically, uh, Reserve Bank of India or the banking regulator is the last line of defense, but um, it can't become the first line of defense. Uh, but uh, there's nothing prevents it from for proactive. And that's what Reserve Bank of India is doing when it comes to uh, supervision. It, it, it has become very, very proactive. Any examples that you can share? Well, there is many. I have written in my column. I mean, certain things are unheard of. Like, for instance, if the Bank of India feels that here is a bank whose management is not um, telling the truth to his board of directors, uh, not keeping the board informed of certain activities, um, what will happen is this: this particular entity, um, you know, will get a call. Probably the company secretary will get a call from one of the RBI senior executives, the executive director, um, to check when is the board meeting. And this gentleman would invite himself at the board meeting. And while the meeting is on, he would walk in and inform the, make a presentation to the, to the, to the board of directors and then leave quietly. Or for instance, you know, till now, Reserve Bank of India's market intelligence had been uh, about uh, clip, uh, um, cutting newspaper clips and keeping your watch on that, or probably reading um, the investors' presentations and all. But now it is, checking the social media, the Facebook, WhatsApp, um, whatever is happening, the regional channels of TV, uh, radio, and it's creating a sentiment index. Uh, so the bank, uh, which apparently cannot be um, seen, but you can you can catch certain things through this way. Uh, yet another example could be, you know, RBI is not only keeping a tab on the banks, but also uh, its borrowers. So it's it's um, whether the borrowers are capable of um, paying back the money. Yes, Reserve Bank of India get the data on the Krillik platform. We discussed it. But on top of that, RBI keeps a very close tab on the borrowers. And how is RBI using uh, data, technology, analytics to do all this? Yes, it is. It is. As I said, it's uh, the ideal situation. It, it wants to uh, do a good combination of uh, off-site and on-site supervision. And the off-site supervision as you know, it is, it's completely data-driven. Uh, it's using that and also the RBI's College of Supervision is coming in handy for that. It's, it's training its uh, people uh, to read the data. Are you happy with the way RBI is uh, managing things now? Well, you know, there are multiple responsibility for the Reserve Bank of India, like inflation management to financial stability and managing the banks. So a few things probably going beyond inspection and supervision. One thing is this about giving license to the right kind of entity. Uh, since early 1994 until now, uh, we have seen the entry of um, giving license, RBI has given license to Zoom to clutch up universal banks um, in three installments and um, small finance bank as well as payment banks. Now, if you look at the promoters of them, probably not everybody deserve that license. So that fit and proper criteria, I think um, RBI need to be very careful about this. And one of the things we have to talk about is the collapse of the Silicon Valley Bank and uh, we, the markets have reacted here as well. Are there any lessons for us from what has happened uh, uh, with the bank? And uh, also, how uh, do you think our banking sector reacting to this uh, development? This is the second largest bank failure in the US in 2000, till 2008 um, after the Washington Mutual. Um, yes, there are lessons to be learned, but should you should we be worried 
and like Indian banking system, um, um, the way I think the analysts are reacting and the markets are reacting, it's probably a little uh, exaggerated uh, because our banking model is very different from this one. Now, this is a bank which was particularly catering to this 40 year old bank was catering to the fintech startups. So it is trading where the mainline banks were actually fearing to uh, trade. It was going there. Um, and it has become a victim of very poor risk management. What happening is this, it had plenty of liquidity, I mean the deposits, and these deposits uh, was used to buy long-term government bonds, but with the, with the, uh, with the rise in policy rates, uh, the yield started hardening, which means the value started eroding. And, and at the same time, what happened for his customers, the fintech, the startup fintechs, uh, you know, when they, they found uh, a bit of a tight situation in terms of raising money, uh, the fund was not flowing when, this, when they wanted to take their money back in the form of deposits. Uh, this bank had to sell certain assets and had to book losses because of the erosion in value. Uh, as you know, that when the yield rise, the value actually drops. And that's the case. Uh, that's the case. Um, and there's a ripple effect uh, of that. Great. This is something that we uh, will be keeping a close eye on and uh, great insights on RBI as well. Thank you so much, uh, Tamal, for joining us today. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn. I am the blue of the limitless sky. I am the inspiration that lets success so high. I will Trusted Bank, SBI, SBI the banker SBI. to every Indian.